Good morning everyone. After my recent mask video, my friend sent me this mask and said he bought it on Shopee. The interesting thing about this is it's made locally here in the Philippines, but they claim it's N95 type, N95 cloth. Now normally when you say N95, you would think of something like this, which is a genuine N95 mask from 3M. So it's very interesting to think, how did they manage to make a reusable washable N95? And they say this is reusable for life, not just one, two, three times. They say washable, reusable for life. So those are some pretty big claims that we're gonna kind of put to the test today. So first of all, let's just put it on, see how it fits. So obviously the first problem we have is that the ear loops are too big and the mask isn't tight to my face. Let me try twist them. That was a bit better, but it feels like it's gonna slide off and I had a lot of air coming out the top and bottom. There is another solution. If we use an ear saver, we can put the bands at the back of my head and we'll get a much better fit. So that was a much better fit, although I still had some air coming out the top and bottom. If you look at the 3M mask, you'll see it has a metal bar here that you sculpt around your nose. Another thing it has is a flat surface all the way around the edge. So when you put it on your face, you can make a really good seal. Obviously with this mask, there is no nose bar and there's no flat section to go up against your face. Another thing to consider is my nose shape. Remember, this is designed for a local audience. So it's not a perfect fit but it does fit pretty good. It feels like a nice thick fabric. It is a little bit hard to breathe which suggests either it's a very thick fabric or they do have some kind of filter in here. The only downside is that they're calling this N95. When you say that there are very big expectations that's already suitable for use in a hospital. That means everything you breathe in is going through a filter but in this case I know there's air coming in the top and the bottom so I don't think people should be using the term N95 because you have to go through so much testing to get that approved. They should just say reusable mask. But anyway, let's continue with our testing with the candle test. So as you saw there, I wasn't able to blow out the candle. It does become harder to breathe, which gives you some kind of confidence because you feel like you're hopefully breathing through a filter, but then I could also feel some air coming from the top and bottom. So now another thing they say about this mask is it's reversible. And if I reverse it, it does indeed work. But then it raises an interesting question. On the legitimate surgical mask, for example, the outside would be blue, water repellent. The inside would be white, which is water absorbent, so that absorbs your spit, your saliva, and then the middle layer would be a filter. If your design is reversible, you can't have something that absorbs and repels water, right? It has to be one or the other. So that's an interesting question. Let's test if the outside can repel water. Okay, so far we have no water. Oh, there you go. It started dripping through. This is the same test we did on our other masks. Some of them were hydrophobic, water repellent. Obviously this one is not. It's going to let water pass through. Now, the reason why you want it to be water repellent is so that if someone coughs or sneezes, it will hopefully not pass through the mask. But then this is a lot of water compared to just small droplets. So it's not necessarily the best test, but we do have other masks I'll show you, like this one, for example. And you'll see it can pass the hydrophobic test. So there are masks out there that are hydrophobic that will prevent water from passing through. So let's cut this mask open and see what's actually inside very hard to cut whatever it is so that's very interesting they call this a free ply you can see this fabric here it's quite easy to actually look through it it's quite transparent if you give it a little stretch same with this one on the other side you can see through it and then this is their filter material it's kind of like a spongy foam on this side and then i'm not even sure what that is so this is what they're considering to be their 
N95 filter. So let's test these fabrics. We'll start with the black outside. Yeah, you can breathe through that as if there's nothing there. Let's try the foam. Same thing, breathe through it easily. And now let's try the brown filter fabric. Couldn't suck anything, let's try again. Can't filter, can't pass any air through that. Let me try the other side. It's as if you're sucking on a, on a plastic. I can't breathe through it. No. So maybe someone in the comment section can actually identify what kind of fabric this is because I can't breathe through it at all. I can only imagine that the air was actually coming at the top of the mask and the bottom of the mask because, I don't know, am I doing this wrong? Am I doing something wrong? I just cannot breathe through this at all. Hmm, very interesting.